Now a News 5 special report. This month on News 5, we've alerted parents to the dangers that come with giving your child a phone. We expose the apps predators use, the trickery of Finstagram, and heard from the experts on the best way to keep your child safe. Tonight, we bring you a scary story that proves online predators can find anyone, even the daughter of local investigators. Here's News 5's J.B. Buno. Detective Laura Soulier is the digital forensic examiner for the Mobile County Sheriff's Office, but her very first digital investigation didn't result in a mugshot, a prison sentence, or even a suspect in handcuffs. We gave uh, our daughter a cell phone. Five years ago, case number one happened in her own home. I haven't told many people this story because this is something I'm not proud of. Soulier's stepdaughter Christine, 15 years old at the time with two parents in law enforcement, received her first smartphone, downloaded apps, and began chatting with a stranger. And he started asking questions about where I was from and what I wanted to do in life and if he if I wanted to hang out. Well and after I told him I was 15 and he still continued to talk to me. Christine took genuine interest in Adam, a man claiming to be 23 with striking features who lived just an hour away. A clean-shaven man that had a nice jawbone, and then there was one time that he sent me a shirtless picture, and I was just like, oh, wow, you look great. He kind of took that and ran with it. What started as a fun back-and-forth chat grew into something more. Oh, I love you. Would you kiss me? Would you do this to me? Would you hold me? Christine's parents hunt down criminals for a living. So she did her best to keep the conversations a secret for months. So when we, you know, asked her over and over again, who are you talking to? Oh, you don't know him. It's just Jimmy from the bus. So she's lying. At 15, she's lying to police officers. The two even talked about seeing each other until one night, Christine was finally caught and confronted by her parents. It was then Detective Soulier got on the phone and called Adam. We asked, did he know how old the girl was that he was talking to? And he said, yes, she's 15. Soulier did some digging and found that Adam's real name was actually Adam. He was 23 and lived where he claimed to be living. But there were lies. Adam had a criminal record and didn't look anything like the man in the pictures sent to Christine. What we found who she was actually talking to was creepy Adam. Weighed 340, long stringy hair, literally looked like he lived in mom's basement. Whenever I found out who he was, I felt completely lied to. Adam was told to never contact Christine again. Five years later, Christine is studying hard. She wants to join the FBI. To my stepmom and my dad, I'm very grateful for what they did. And in that time, Detective Soulier has become Mobile County's go-to digital investigator with a resume that hits close to home. We almost lost our 15-year-old daughter to kick right from underneath our noses. Christine could have easily declined our interview request, but she chose to come forward, Skype us from Florida in order to warn parents out there this could happen to any child, anywhere, at any time. And lastly, we'll end out tonight on this. You might remember our News 5 investigation. We exposed the five apps predators use, and number one on our experts list was Kick, the same app that Christine used five years ago to start talking with Adam and carry out the relationship over the course of the next few months. This is an app still available to download despite so many stories, just like this one. With this special report from the studio, J.B. Buno. News 5.